pretty side of the news. The Miss World Universe contest officially opened today in Jakarta, Indonesia. Contestants arrive from such faraway places as Marrakesh, Morocco, Paramaribo, Suriname, Guernavaca, Mexico, and Maracaibo, Venezuela. Not to mention Minneapolis, St. Paul, and our own Donna Jean Spolenchak. What's wrong with well, Ted let's turn tonight? To the political page. What do you mean, what's wrong this... with him? He hasn't made a single mistake for the entire show. That's what I mean. Something is definitely wrong with him. I wonder what. And how do we make it last? I don't know. <laughs> he has seemed a little preoccupied today, though. Every few minutes he's been coming in here and asking me if his brother is called yet. His brother? Yeah. You mean there are two of him in the world? Murray, look, just because he has a brother, it doesn't mean they have to be exactly alike. Well, for his brother's sake, I certainly hope not. <laughs> Hi. I'm Hal. You're Ted's brother. No, no, no. Ted is my brother. <laughs> well, I am going into the studio. I'll tell Ted his brother. Uh, I'll tell your brother his brother. I'll tell him you're here. <laughs> I'm uh, Mary Richards. And I'm Hal Baxter. And that, and that's Ted? Uh, yes, that's Ted. Why, it's incredible. He looks like a man his age. Well, uh, we, we all think that he, he looks just fine. He's, uh, it's great fun to work with him, and, uh, well, you should be very proud of him. Oh, I am, I am. I think it's wonderful that he's, that he's here in this little studio. What is it that he does, a uh, sportscaster with a man? Uh, no, he's the anchor man. Ah, the job that goes to the man with the most seniority, eh? Oh, no, no, Ted got the job because he's, he's very competent at uh, what he does. Ted? So, what brings you to Minneapolis, Hal? Oh, I'm shooting a film. Just be here a couple of days. You're an actor. What else? Gee, you look so familiar. What have I seen you? Commercials! You're the clear bag man! Hey, that's great! Ah. <laughs> Gee, that's great. Not too many people recognize me without my plastic cape. Uh, <laughs> and aren't you also the man with, with the stopped-up sinuses and all those little pain things all over uh -huh. your face? Yeah, of course, that was four years ago. My head's cleared up since. <laughs> well, I feel I know you. <laughs> I'm Hal Baxter. <laughs> and you're, uh... You're Mary Richards. <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Say, Mary, now that we know each other, could I ask you a personal question? Uh, sure. How much did Ted make? Uh, Holly. Teddy. <laughs> it's been a while. Five years. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Lou, did you clear up that nonsense like I told you? What were you yelling about out there? Oh, nothing, nothing. Say, Lou, you may think of me as a happy-go-lucky sort of a guy, but underneath this Ted Baxter, there's another Ted Baxter, one that's more serious, more sensitive, more vulnerable. Is there a Ted Baxter under there who'll get to the point quicker? <laughs> Lou, the thing is, my brother's out there, and we're, well, I... Darn it, Lou, he's always coming on like he's better than me, like I'm nothing. Well, who knows? <laughs> he could be on to something. Thing is, Lou, I thought that perhaps you might do me this little favor. What's that? Well, I got this idea that, that he might be impressed if you went out there and offered me a raise in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> Offer you a raise. A make-believe raise. <laughs> a make-believe raise. Well, well, I see. <laughs> well, Ted, why, why stop at a simple little thing like offering you a raise? Why don't I go out there and pretend to crown you king? <laughs> Come on, Lou. Just a little raise. Why won't you? Why won't I? Because out there, when you've got some witnesses, you might accept it. No, I won't, Lou. Cross my heart. You just crossed your lung, Ted. <laughs> Come on, Lou, please. Oh, all right. I'll say you're getting a raise. How much? Fifty bucks a week. A hundred and fifty or no deal? <laughs> I'll take the fifty. Twenty-five? Goodbye, Lou. <laughs> Glad you were smart enough to see things my way, Lou. Or else it would mean getting some new writers around here. Hey, Allie. 
city. <laughs> How you doing? I'm doing 45,000 a year. How you doing? <laughs> I'm doing 50. Uh, 50 weeks a year, two weeks off with pay. <laughs> That's great, Teddy. How you getting around these days? Still skating to work? Oh, Teddy, you should see the new car I got. It's a sleek little Italian job. Yeah, well, I'm driving a sleek little German job. <laughs> it's 34 miles to the gallop. But, Teddy, mine is a classic. Yours is a classic. Mine hasn't changed its design in 22 years. And the beauty of that is, mine will always look 22 years old. <laughs> oh, Teddy, it's so great to see you. I'm going to give you a treat. I'm going to give you a chance to take me out to dinner tonight. Oh, Hallie, that's great. Just the two of us on the town? Shoot the whole odd money's no object. <laughs> See, I know this little place. They've got terrific steaks. And the best part is you don't have to get out of the car to eat. <laughs> that sounds keen. I... Say, Ted, uh, maybe I could ask a date. How about you? You, uh, you do have a girl, don't you? <laughs> sure, I've got a girl. <laughs> well, great. Call her up. We'll make it a foursome. Call her up? Well, I don't have to do that. Mary, how does that sound to you? How does what sound? Well, Hal wants you and uh, me to double with him. You mean to say... <laughs> you mean to say she's your girl? Oh, uh, sure. Sh sure. Who are you going to date tonight, Hal? Oh, me? Well, this is my first day in town, if it were tomorrow. <laughs> Say, Mayor, why don't you fix Hal up with that Israeli friend of yours? You mean Rhoda? Yeah. Ted, she's not Israeli. She's from New York. <laughs> well, I knew it was somewhere there in the Middle East. <laughs> Hey, that's a great dress. Thank you. Hey, listen, Rhoda, I'm really sorry about fixing you up with Hal. Here he comes. Okay, what does he look like? He's very good looking. Here. Yeah? Hey, not bad. How does he look with both sides of his face shaved? <laughs> He's on uh, page 148. Yeah, 148. Uh, very attractive. Mary, this is the first time I've seen my date in his underwear before I met him. <laughs> What's wrong with him? I mean, other than the obvious handicap of him being fantastically handsome. Well, he's, uh, it's a lot like Ted, only more. The two of them, when they get together, are so unbelievably competitive. Well, would you believe two grown men actually arm wrestling on the top of my desk? You're kidding. No. <laughs> That's the most ridiculous juvenile. Did mine win? <laughs> Two out of three. Oh. Hi, honey. Hi. Hi, Mary. Well, uh, Rhoda, you of course know Ted. Uh, this Hi, is Ted. Rhoda? Ted's brother, Hal. <clears throat> Hal is. Ted is Hal's uh, brother. They're, um, brothers. Yeah. <laughs> well. Boo -boo. Oh, thank you. <laughs> well, well, well. Aren't, uh, aren't we pretty? You mean me or both of us? <laughs> both of us. <laughs> you certainly have a very nice apartment here, Mary. Well, very nice. Thank you. You mean to say you haven't been here before? Of course. I. What do you think? I come here all the time, don't I, Mary? All the time, <laughs> yes. Look, I'll, I'll show you around. This, this is uh, Mary's living room, and uh, there's her bar, kitchen, bar, kitchen, <laughs> and this is her table where sometimes Mary fixes us a quiet little dinner, and we sit down, and she puts the food on this table, and, uh, and then... I do this little joke thing about eating wax fruit. He never fails to break me up with that one. I can see why. <laughs> Say, if you girls really want to laugh, 
Watch Ted try and beat me at arm wrestling. Go oh, on. Well, listen, uh, Here we go. go. Listen, guys, one big lap a day is plenty. Look at him, will you? He's had this competitive thing all our lives. You'd think we'd have gotten over it by now. I mean, what do we have to prove now? All right, Hal, that's enough. Give up, Ted? <laughs> no, you first, Hal. No, no, you first. You, Hal. Teddy. Hal. Old timer. Hal. Hey, guys. Mary, let me handle this. The one who wins pays for dinner. <laughs> Hal, this really is silly fighting in Mary's apartment. Yeah, you're right. Girls, I'd like to apologize. It. Well, our parents used to encourage this sort of thing. When we were kids, they'd, they'd buy one toy for the two of us. Throw it up in the air, we had to jump for it. <laughs> but you'll see us in school always trying to outdo each other in class, competing for the teacher's attention. You, uh, you were in the same class? Mm -hmm. But uh, isn't Ted... Two years older. But we were in the same class. If you know what I mean. <laughs> oh. Well, there were a couple of years there they only promoted the taller kids. <laughs> you really believe that? Well, Mom said. Me! <laughs> Starving as oh. I am. I'll second that motion. I'll third it. I'll make it anonymous. <laughs> Here's a nifty shot of me in a Nehru jacket. I was the first one to wear a Nehru jacket. Say, whatever happened to that Nehru guy anyway? Dropped right out of the fashion world. <laughs> he was the prime minister of India. Oh. Well, it's nice to know he found something else. <laughs> Ted, I believe the gentleman wants you to try the wine. Oh, sure. Love my vino. That's a pretty chintzy fellow for eight bucks. Ted, he only wants you to taste it. Oh, oh. Yes, that's wine, all right. Mine is a lovely restaurant, Ted. Where'd you hear about it? Oh, I come here all the time. Oh, really? If you come here all the time, Mary's your best girl. How come you've never brought her before? Are you seeing someone else, Ted? I uh, come for business, that's all. Uh, and breakfasts, a big business breakfast. May I propose a toast? To all the wonderful things that make life worth living. Beautiful food, beautiful wine, and beautiful women. See anything you like? My, this wine is really wonderful. How about the uh, Chateaubriand for two? That's mm. just what I was going to have. What are you going to have? Uh, <laughs> how about you, Teddy? Want to make it anonymous? <laughs> uh, the Chateaubriand for two? Where is it on the menu, ma'am? Uh, <laughs> oh. Oh, I, uh, I had uh, Chateaubriand for two for breakfast with eggs. <laughs> hey, uh, this looks pretty good, Mayor. How about this? A fruit cup, a turkey leg, and mashed potatoes? Uh, Ted, we can't have that. Why not? We're not under 12. Ah, <laughs> uh, we'll be a few more minutes, waiter. Yeah, everything here looks so good. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> ah, may I? Teddy, my boy, anybody looking at this table would think that you two are on your first date. <laughs> Mary, I don't want to make you nervous or anything like that, but I'm afraid I'm going to have to kiss you. <laughs> on the lips. <laughs> I'm sorry about that embarrassment about the check back at the restaurant. Yeah, it's too bad they wouldn't accept your gasoline credit card, Ted. <laughs> I'll pay you back tomorrow, Mayor. Just make sure you keep track of the amount. Oh, I will. Don't, don't worry. Well, group, I guess we'll say goodnight for now. Aren't you uh, going to come in? Well, actually, we thought we'd go up to Rhoda's place and look at a fantastic collection. What collection? Magazines. <laughs> I have all these millions of magazines. What we're going to do is look through them and see how many pictures we can find of me. <laughs> what about Hal Hunt? Hey, that's a great idea. Kind of make a game out of it. Mm -hmm. First one who spots my picture gets a kiss. Fun. <laughs> well, then, Ted, I guess I'll see you tomorrow at the office. <laughs> Won't I? 
<laughs> Mary, I can't leave now. Not while he's still up there. Why not? Well, Hal came in my car, and he'll know if I leave. And <laughs> if you're supposed to be my girl, how would it look if I left first? But, Ted, it's awfully late. Well, how long does it take to look through a million magazines? <laughs> but, Ted, the thing is, I've got some things I've got Please, to do. Please, Mary. I... Oh, all right. But she, I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Almost. I really appreciate this, Mayor. Ted, it's all right. <laughs> Is my brother Hal around? Uh, hi, Hal. Uh, how you doing, buddy? <laughs> oh, I don't know uh, what old time I'll be leaving. Uh, how about you? Hey, Mary, cut it out, will you? <laughs> Come on, Mary, will you cut it out? <laughs> Mary, I'm on the phone. Will you cut it out? I gotta go now. <laughs> Oh, uh, nobody, uh, just, uh, called the wrong number. <laughs> Say, what a wonderful hi-fi you got. Do you mind if I put on a little mood music? Well, Ted, I don't know if I have any music to suit the mood I'm in. <laughs> uh, come on, Mary, what do you say? Jax. Go fish. <laughs> Tens. Go fish. What time is it? Oh, it's still early. What time is it? Uh, would you like some more music, Mayor? Ted, I think it's getting light out. What, that? Oh, no, no, no. It's in the middle of the night. <laughs> Ted, that's dawn. Come on. Oh, that's not dawn. You see, it looks like dawn because we're in Minnesota, you know. <laughs> the land of the midnight sun. Oh, Ted, <laughs> Minnesota is not the land of the midnight sun. It's the land of 10,000 lakes. And I think I see one of them now. <laughs> Ted, it's dawn. Oh, won't you please call Hal? Mary, you don't know what it's like having a brother like Hal. Ted, I'm so punchy. I don't know what it's like being me. Please call him. Obviously, he's not going to call you. Oh. See, I told you. See? Hello? Yes, Rhoda. Yes. All right. Yes, I will. Goodbye. That was Rhoda. She wants us, please, to turn off the music. It woke her up. Woke her up? Your brother Hal took a taxi back to his hotel a half hour after we got home. Oh. A half hour after we got home, Tim. I think I'll be toddling off. I thought you might. Well, I'll uh, see you at work tomorrow, Mary. This is tomorrow. I hope I haven't overstayed my welcome. <laughs> Mary? Yeah, uh, yes, yes, sir. Did you get enough sleep last night? Uh, I didn't get any sleep last night, as a matter of fact, but I'm, I'm fine, just fine. No, you're not. That last pot of coffee you made? What about it? Don't you think it's kind of funny that it's all clear like that? <laughs> Shouldn't the color be sort of, uh, brownish? <laughs> I think that I... Yeah, you did. I'll make another pot. No, 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 no. That's all right. I'll wait till after you wake up. Well, huh? Come on. No, brownish, brownish. <laughs> oh, what a beautiful afternoon. No, oh, hello, Mary. I'm sorry, Ted. I'm just a little out of it. I'm too sleepy. Oh, sleep. Don't mention that word to me. Do you know I slept right through my alarm this afternoon? I'd still be asleep if I didn't wake up anyway. Say, I just talked to Hal. He's coming by later. I thought no, maybe... No, 
No, no. Oh, of course. How much do I owe you for last night? No, I insist. I really want to pay you back, Mary. Forty-two dollars. <laughs> Twenty. Forty. One. Two. Forty-two. Does that include the tip? No, it doesn't. Forty-three. <laughs> now, how about tonight? Ted, I just couldn't take another night of you and Hal doing that topping each other thing. I just, I don't want to be around it, that's all. Who cares who's the best one? I don't know why you two are so afraid of being second best. Well, I'm not. He is. Ted, you just did it again. Well, I'd stop if he would. There it is again. Ted, somebody has got to stop first or it'll go on forever. I'll let him quit first. Then I'll quit first. Why don't you quit first and be the first to quit first? That makes sense. <laughs> Afternoon, gang. Hi, Mary. Hi. Teddy, my boy. When I left Rhoda's last night, your car was still out front. What happened? Flat tire? <laughs> well, I... <clears throat> we were up there all the time, played cards, and watched her iron. She's not my girlfriend. She doesn't even like me much. Oh, Ted, no, I wouldn't say that. And I've got lousy eyes. What happened to him? <laughs> lousy eyes. I can't see a thing without my glasses. You want to see what I look like in my glasses? Here. Old four eyes, see? How's that for being honest? Terrific. Honest? You want to see what honest is? <laughs> Let me tell you about this brother of yours. See that dimple there? Now, you don't remember that when we were kids. You know why? It wasn't there. It cost me 750 bucks. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah? Will you see this nose? Oh, Ted, that ought to about No, no, me. Mary. You know that TV commercial I'm shooting here in town? <laughs> my face isn't in it. They wanted my feet. <laughs> it's for socks. Socks? <laughs> stretch socks. White stretch socks. <laughs> I tell you, kid, I've hit bottom. Gee, I... I don't know what to say. Hal, you, you work your way up again. Oh, that's nice of you to say, Mary, but... Sure, Hal, you look good to me, pal. Uh, thanks, Ted, but you're blind without your glasses. <laughs> Say, Hal, you and I have got a, a lot to talk about. Why don't just you and I go out for dinner and, and catch up? I know all the worst places in town. <laughs> oh, uh, first, uh, come on in the studio with me and uh, watch me mess up the news. I'm really terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Just my luck. No witnesses. <laughs> Thank you for fixing me up with Hal last night. Oh, come on, Rhoda. You didn't have a good time. This is true. But at least, while I wasn't having a good time, it was with the best-looking guy in the world. <laughs> Boy, I don't know. I wouldn't want to go out with a guy as prettier than I am. <laughs> hey, Rhoda, remember last night we walked into the restaurant and those heads snapped around? <laughs> They were looking at Hal. <laughs> I made the mistake of asking him which was his bad side. Do you know that we looked for it for 10 minutes? We couldn't find it. 